Hello my fellow sketchers. In this video we are going to learn about how to move a sprite smoothly with arrow keys and how to add a trail in moving a sprite and giving it a cool effect. So first let's run our program. As you can see guys it gives a cool trail effect and it moves very slowly. Now let's get to coding. So, so first we will name our project smooth movement now go to the variables category and delete this my variable now we will name two variables speed x for this fact only and speed y for this fact only now we will initially set the speed x and speed y variable to 0, 0. So when we run the program, we want the sprite to stay in center. So let's set the position to 0, 0. Now go to the control categories and drag the forever loop here. Now drag the if then clock inside it and we will add the end condition inside the if then now drag the greater and the smaller sign here and the first one we will enter minus 10 and replace the 50 with 10 now go to the variables category and drag the speed x variable here and here if the speed x is greater than minus 10 and smaller than 10, the condition inside it will be true and will run. So drag the change speed x block here. And you will change the speed x by and drag the subtraction sign here. Now go to the sensing category and drag the key press block here and here and select the right arrow key first and then the left arrow key so if the speed x is within the range of minus 10 to 10 only then the skit will sense the right left arrow keys if you press the right arrow key it increases the value variable by change speed x by 1 in case if you keep pressing it will increase the speed x till it reaches to 10 same is true for the left arrow key but instead of increasing it will decrease the value of the speed x by minus 1. Now we want to decrease the speed x variable. So we will go to the control categories and drag the if then block here. Now we will detect if we are not pressing the right arrow key or the left arrow key. So Go to the variables category and drag the change speed x variable here and we will go to the operators category and drag the multiplication sign inside the change speed x variable. Now we will multiply the speed x with minus 0 0.1. So if the left and right arrow keys are not pressed, then it will increase or decrease the speed x variable until it becomes zero. Now, go to the motion categories and drag the change x y block here. Now, go to the variables category and drag the speed x block here. So, this block will move the sprite along the x axis as per value inside the speed x variable. So, before building further, Let's run our program. As you can see guys, when I press the left arrow key, it moves to the left. And when I press the right arrow key, it moves to the right. And it moves them very smoothly. Now, let's do for the speed y. So, we will just duplicate this part from here. And drag it here. And replace all the speed x variable with the speed y once. So let's do it. 
Now for this change exit block, we will just replace it with the change y by block. And we will change the y position by the speed y. So we don't want to move our sprite with left and right arrow keys. We want to move it with up and down arrow keys. So replace the right arrow keys with the up arrow keys. And the left arrow keys with the down arrow keys. Now let's run our program. As you can see guys, our sprite moves in every direction smoothly. Now let's add a trail to our sprite. I will use the create clone of myself block. So we will drag this here. And drag the when I start as a clone block here. Now drag the repeat loop beneath the when I start as a clone and set the value to 20. So it will repeat 20 times anything inside it. So go to the loops category and we will change the ghost effect by 5. Now at the end it will delete this clone. Now let's hide these two variables and run our program. As you can see guys, it gives a cool trail to the sprite and it moves very smoothly. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to just simply move a sprite with arrow keys, then check out my video of how to move a sprite with arrow keys part 1, where we will learn a simple straightforward script to move a sprite using arrow keys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys and take care.